Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be wrapping up our budget build series with green, red to teamer elementals. Uh, today we're going to be playing the non budget, fully tuned version of the elementals list. If you haven't caught it already, I've uh, uploaded the budget version, which is all commons, uncommons, and free cards minus the dual lands. Uh, as well as the mid-budget, which took us to, I think, 11 rares and mythics combined. And now we're going to be going to the non-budget. So playing the best variation that we think exists right now. This is my version of the deck. There hasn't been a concise tier 1 list because there hasn't been any tournaments yet. But I've, I think I'm 7-1 in, in matches with this deck so far. And I've really liked it. It's been really fun so far. Um, so to run through the list, we are adding blue to this variation, and the biggest payoff cards that we are getting from this is Risen Reef. Um, this uncommon, 1-1 uh, for 3, seems a little poor spec, but it is a house. Uh, so whenever it or another elemental enters the battlefield under your control, you look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you can put it into the battlefield tapped. If not, you basically get to put the card in your hand. The important thing here is it's put into hand, not draw. So it gets around the Narset ability of preventing you from drawing cards. In addition to this, it double triggers off Chandra's zero ability. So you can get crazy ramp in this deck by just or card advantage by just playing these two cards in common. As well, by adding blue, we add Omnath, Locus of the Royal. So when this enters the battlefield, it checks how many elementals are in play, and you can deal that much damage to any permanent. They could be a player, it could be a planeswalker, it could be creatures, so it's great removal that way, as well as it's power up and flood insurance. So whenever a land enters the battlefield, you can put a 1-1 counter on another elemental, and if you control 8 or more lands, you get to draw a card. So you do have to times worry a little about um, drawing your whole deck, it is possible. Um, so the rest of the deck shaping up, we have Shocks and Lightning Strikes as our burn package and removal. Um, we play four Leaf King because we're going a little bit higher end in terms of the spells. We're playing two Living Twisters. Um, so I like this card against Aggro. It's a good body. Um, and it's just ways to trigger with the lands to discard them, get them back to hand, play them to trigger Omnath. So pretty good utility card here. Um, we're playing four of the Chandras, similar to the mid-budget, two of the Domries, four of the big Chandras. We want to go up to a full four Rekindling Phoenix. Of note, as I previously mentioned, the token that it makes when it dies is an elemental, so it entered the battlefield does trigger Risen Reef. Um, and there is instances where you can play Omnath, play a land, put a counter on it. Um, it does sacrifice, so you don't get it, but in a pinch if they exile your Phoenix. Um, and then I'm playing two Spark Doubles in my list. Um, so one of my favorite plays is playing Chandra, Spark Doubling the Chandra, getting four 1-1s one each turn. Or doubling up on this Chandra, getting two Omnaths. Uh, it's been a pretty flexible card thus far. Uh, the land base, we're adding the blue duels. I'm also playing a couple temples. Uh, I'm playing two Temple of Epiphanies, two Pem Temple of Mysteries. The Scry's been pretty good. And then because we're, we're base red, all our duels, except a couple of breeding pools, uh, do tap for red. In terms of the sideboard, uh, let me show you this way. We're playing two Veil of Summers versus the like discard Grixis -E Esper decks. Uh, two Aether Gusts can tuck uh, Phoenixes. Uh, some of the bigger creatures that are like the gods. I can get rid of Experimental Frenzy. So it's a pretty flexible card. Good against Gruul. Fry versus the Teferi decks. Um, Lyra's can deal with a lot, actually. Lava Coils is a good catch-all removal. Shifting Ceratops either as a good blocker against Control. Um, good body overall. Uh, Vine Mare against the heavy targeted removal decks. It, it is an elemental as well, so it triggers. And then right now, I'm not 100% sure on the sideboard, just where the meta stands. Um, may want to the life gain elementals back in here. Uh, Hydroid Crisis, because we do get a lot of mana, and it's good against like the mid-range decks that are tearing apart our hand, uh, just to refill. May also be right uh, to either play Vivian, the original one, as a card advantage spell, uh, or um, Nisa, uh, she does make elementals which trigger um, 
not sure how much Nexus we're seeing either if we want Thrashing Brontodon in play. So still trying to figure out necessarily what we want as this last sideboard slot. Um, but that's the deck. I'm going to run it through Ranked for this one here because it is a good deck. So once we're done this series, I'll do the full write-up on the Arena subreddit. You can check it out there. I'll detail all the card choices between each version, thought process behind it. Um, if you do enjoy this content of the build series, I will be doing it for the other color pairs over the next couple weeks. Um, the best way to support the channel is by hitting that subscribe button. It is free. It is an easy way to help support the growth of this channel. So if you could do that, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so for this hand, we're missing a land. Our opponent goes first. We're on the draw, and we have a Temple to Scry. I think we keep this. We are missing double red, but we do have early removal. Let's see if they drop an elf here. So we're digging for a land here. This could be a couple things. It could be bant mass manipulation, bant ramp, simic ramp. All right, yeah, simic ramp. Get my color pairs mixed up. Okay, this could be a couple of different Saltai Yarek, like the ETB one. Okay, so here I'm going to shock the Branch Walker. May have made sense to shock the Elf there, actually. Yeah, this is going to be a Dreadhorde deck, most likely. Yeah, so it is Sultai Command the Dread Horde. We're just going to get the elementals going. So we get to draw a card there. We're really hoping for ramp, actually. Cavalier of Thorns gets a land, and then you get to put something on top. So this is a big body. Something I missed the first time, this has reach. So they are loaded up for a Command the Dread Horde. So we're probably a little bit too far behind in this game. Um, we can go with the Phoenix. It's a good blocker. Could keep blocking the Cavalier. But if they hit the Command the Dread Horde, we're pretty much dead. They have been missing quite a bit. But at this point, two wild growth walkers, three wild growth walkers, four. Wow. So they'll gain a ton of life. Okay, so they do hit it. See if they attack in. Uh, so here... We can double spell, so I'll probably just do that. Get some flips off Risen Reef, or at least make the Omnath. Maybe be able to shoot the opponent. I think at this point we just try to get them to mill themselves out. Okay, so they have the cast down. Chandra might be able to sweep up some stuff. No attacks here. So they'll probably just use this as a mini one to gain a bunch of life with like the explore package. Because they could have just gotten a land back, there was no point in just killing the Llanowar Elves. We can Chandra next turn. If we draw land, we can Risen Reef and Omnath. Opponent is thinking. They're probably selecting what they want.
So, just tons of life here. But they are at 23 cards. The Chandra can sweep up a good chunk of stuff. Um, so we could attack with Chandra. No, I still think we do. Risen Reef. Okay, so we do have the Spark Double that could copy something. Go Omnath here. Probably just pay like that. So we'll stack our triggers a little different. Uh, one, two, three, four. Just kill that. Okay, so we're probably dead. But we shall see what we got this one. That may kill them. Definitely have a big board, but... Sixteen cards? So this is a good demo of when you can interact. Ashiok might be a good card in place. We don't really have a way to answer their graveyards for Sultai. So we'll probably make that change. Okay, let's keep it on top, or put it on the bottom. Nine cards. We'll see how they attack now. And they return cast down. Okay, so... Block. Block. Block like that. I think regardless, we're still dead. They have too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can sweep up a lot of things here. But, oh, this is an elemental. Never mind. Always forget wild growth is that. So they got us that one. We're going to make the switch. We need Ashiok in this matchup. Uh, so lava coils, good. Uh, white or blue, probably not as good. The Aether Gus can tuck. And do you want the Ceratops? Probably not. Vine mares don't seem that good. Uh, in terms of coming out, the shocks probably are okay. Lightning strikes we want. 
Living Twister can block pretty well. Spark Double could probably come out. Do we want the... So this can tuck a... Nah, probably not good enough. Just go with the removal. So pretty much just the lava coils in. Maybe Shiva Chandra. Shave an Omnath. Bring in the Krasis. Actually, get rid of the Domries. Keep you in. Keep you in. Domri could ramp a little, but their board's going to go wider than ours, probably. So I haven't played this matchup yet. So it's worth noting, we're still pretty early into the season. Uh, we go first, we'll keep. We have Shock on, we can dig for another land. We actually want a green source here, so we'll bot up that. Uh, so we'll probably burn two Shocks if they have a Wild Growth Walker. Wow, that's really good for us. Uh, until we miss a green source. Well, now we're kind of falling behind. Okay, so with the trigger on the stack, we're going to shock this. So they'll likely bend that. Oi, we are uh, not doing well here. Tamiyo will be good for them to start filling. So they hit an early command, but they don't have much in the graveyard. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to concede that one. We're too far behind. Active Tamiyo and that. Uh, let's make that one switch. Put in Ashiok. This exiles their graveyard, which I like. We can cast it off the blues. And we'll run it back. So Dreadhorde's still a beast in this format. I like early standard because you get a lot of variety. People are trying out a bunch of things. Um, it's a slower hand. Yeah, let's try it. I'm gonna lead off on the mountain just in case they're an aggro deck. It also provides the least amount of information as to what deck we're on. Temple could be a couple things. Ramp, Sultai, Mass Manipulation, Elementals. I'm just going to take the opportunity to put this into play tapped right now. We're going to Risen Reef next turn. So I would like to hit a land here probably. Or maybe Chandra's very good actually. Double trigger Risen Reef. So if our Reef survives this turn, we are in a good spot. Blood Sun. Opponents piqued my interest. So this is a cool interaction here. 
So we got the land into play, and we got a phoenix into hand. We'll end the turn. So next turn we can big Chandra. They can't counter it and start giving them uh, emblems. So we're in a really good spot here, even if they kill Risen Reef. They escape shifts. Wonder what they're on. Oh, so they get around Lotus Fields. That's very interesting. Opponent's definitely on the spice corner. Uh, let's go most information possible. We got shock. Put that into play. So they're gonna have a ton of mana next turn. But we are in a pretty good spot. We have Domri to power up our team, another Chandra emblem. They play a Narset. Grow Spiral's fine. That takes them off Starvix. No, they still have enough mana for Star of Extinction. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Let's see what they name. Star of Extinction like ruins their board too. Banefire, perhaps? Finale of Devastation. Forget which finale that is. So same idea, let's get the most information. Counter target, activated ability trigger. Wow, they are bringing out the spice. <laughs> Stuff I didn't think I'd be playing around. Uh, we're just going at the opponent's face here. Bring out the most power possible. Double shock them next turn if need be. Counter target, activate ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell. So we need to play around that for future turns. It's fine, they can keep the blood sun. Oh, they might win with Jace, actually. It's fine, they could draw a bunch of cards. Ooh, they do get to tap five lines. It's definitely a cool deck.
So they got a ton of cards. We'll see what they come out with. We are close to threatening lethal. Keep drawing. We hit him for four, seven. So we're presenting lethal there even without the Planeswalker activations. That is a big crisis. X equals 10. Ah, we forgot to shock there. Um, let's see if they have the counter here. See what we get off. Another Chandra's not bad. Just make more tokens. Opponent is thinking. So I'm going to add another red mana here. Play it out, make another two tokens. That's fine. See what we hit off this. Okay, so another Phoenix. See if they take the block. So with the egg, we trigger, we get another Risen Reef. Play out another Rekindling Phoenix. And say go. So we have the blocker here. They need to, do need to try to win this game soon. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen mana. So they could bane fire us for seventeen. X equals fifteen. Oh snap. <laughs> This deck's sweet. Uh, do you have Trample? I don't think it matters. Because you have Trample. You deal 22. Yeah. Did not expect that coming out. <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely a spicy matchup. Uh, da -da -da -da. Fry is probably good. Aether Gust is probably good. Lava Coils probably aren't as good. Um, 
Probably drop the Leafkin. I want to be aggressive. I actually keep get rid of the Living Twisters. Your pro blue can't be countered. Bring you in instead. Or do we like the Ashiok? Try to exile their stuff. Lightning Strike probably aren't as good. Let's run it like that. Try out the Ashiok. They're going to be drawing a lot of cards, so it's a way if we can get rid of some of their combo pieces. That's definitely a sweet deck. Uh, this hand's a bit slow, but we'll try it out. No Risen Reef, but we have the Chandra. We can follow it up with a Domri. Make them 2-2s two every turn. Okay, so we got there with Chandra. Hopefully they don't have that counter. Okay, they don't, so we could sneak Chandra down. So we do have the option next turn if we draw a land to deal 3 damage with an Omnath to the opponent by making 2 tokens and casting it. If not, just Domri hit them for 4. Blood Sun. Blood Sun. Okay, so here we're just gonna go aggressive. Still got some pretty good pressure on the opponent. We can drop the Omnath next turn. <laughs> they do get up to 6 mana here, so they can play something like Carnage Tyrant. Okay, so that's pretty good because we can fight it now. So we're going to make the tokens. Play out Omnath. So I'm going to see first if they're going to block. If they don't, then we just fight it anyways. Okay, so they block. That allows us to plus Domri. That's pretty sweet. Now ideally we'd like to draw land. draw land we can drop big chandra down got a lot of redundancy in our hand right now they might be scape shifting here <laughs> may time out They didn't tap one of their mana. Alright, they might run the risk of timing out here. Ok, 
Okay, so they blink of an eye. So here we're just about maximizing damage. This is why I think Chandra is one of the best cards. We've just continuously been putting pressure on our opponent while being stuck at effectively four mana. Additionally, if we could get Chandra down, big Chandra down next turn. 12. Gains haste till the end of the turn. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, opponent came out with the spice to win out of nowhere twice. This deck is sweet. Alright, I'm going to play a best of one with the deck just so you get a feel with it there. I need that list. It is awesome. Just such a wacky deck. Like having the Blood Sun, I guess, is really good for them. They had it both games on turn three. Timely blink of an eye as well. Um, keep this end. Want to find an untapped source here. So we can leaf can on two. It's the one downside of temples. They don't play well with the check lines. Got there. Drop Chandra next turn. Chess guy could be f most likely super friends. It's fine. We don't really have a, a play. Getting the Chandra down against them will be good pressure. So now we can just start poking at him. Yeah, just guys super friends. Um, so here... So I'm going to give him the option to, I don't even think we give him the option. No more this way we just prevent them from being able to draw a card and not get the tempo play. I've got So I'm actually going to activate just a kill to fairy here. This allows us to attack into our opponent. I'm going to hold off playing the Leafkin so they don't know that we have a blocker. They might be inclined to not block Fibblethip to attack into Chandra. Backup Chandra is also really good here. Be big to fairy. All right. Well, that's perfectly fine with us. They used two spells there, and now we just drop a phoenix.
Sarkin can make a dragon. Um, so I'm actually going to uptick Chandra here, since the tokens die. Listen to them roar. And I don't want Sarkin to be able to kill Chandra. Find your fires of passion within. The amber doesn't do much. They are coming. This keeps our Chandra alive. Keep it up and you'll pay. This is to fairy tuck. Yeah. This allows us to kill both their walkers. So hopefully no removal. I'm gonna hold off the land for now. Second to fairy's rough. Uh, hand has not gone anywhere. Getting rid of Teferi is the right play. Just past turn. Opponent concedes. They can't beat the Chandra down. We'll take the win. So that's pretty much the deck. Um, I will do the uh, write-up hopefully tomorrow. That is going to be July 9th, so Tuesday. Uh, detail everything there. Up next, I'll probably do Blue White Flyers, uh, so if you want to check that out. I might also do a draft video highlighting the archetypes that are available um, since traditional drafts up. So that's also something we can play out. Actually, traditional drafts, best of three. Ah, uh, no, I want ranked draft. So whenever ranked draft comes up, I will do a demo of that since we can use our gold. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great one. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below.